How's it going everyone, Sephir here, and it is time to get ready for Diablo 4. This video is going to contain a lot of important information, and the breakdown is going to be as follows. We're going to talk about the early access start time, the official time, not just the date in which you can log in and start playing the game. We're also going to talk a little bit about the open beta for those of you who have not purchased the game but want to check it out. And then we are going to talk about the pre-download for the game. On top of that, we're going to wrap all of that up with the bundles. We're going to overview them and talk about which one is best for you, depending on the type of player you are. Lastly, we will be streaming this game live on YouTube as soon as it comes out for the open beta. So make sure to check that out. And that's right, YouTube, not this time, not Twitch. So we're going to go ahead and be doing some Diablo 4 action. Come join me and play along with me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the first topic, which is going to be the early access start time. So the early access start time is going to be official at 9 a.m. PDT on March 17th. This is going to be 12, so noon EDT for those of you on the East Coast, and it is going to be super fun. Grab your friends, hop in here. It's going to be a blast, but that is going to be the official start time. Unfortunately, that's like, you know, middle of work day, but you know, it is what it is. After that, we have the open beta, which is going to be on March 24th through the 26th at the same starting time, which is going to be 9 a.m. PDT. 12 noon EDT. So if you're interested in checking out the game and you don't want to buy it, maybe you're not a Diablo fan, you're not an ARPG player, you just want to see what it's about, this will be perfect for you. In addition to that, if you have purchased the game, you can go ahead and download that right now for the early access. It was available since March 15th. And if you haven't got early access, you can also go to KFC. There's some sort of promotional deal with the double down. So if you buy that, I believe you can get an early access code and, and check it out as well. Uh, so be sure to go ahead and take a look at that if that's something you're interested in. So now let's get into the bundles. There are a lot of important things to discuss here, and it's going to be important to save you money depending on what type of purchase and what type of player you are. So let's go ahead and dive into that now. If we take a look at the Diablo 4 pre-purchase page, we can see that there are three different available versions of the game. There's actually a fourth version of the game, which is a collector's version. So if you're interested in that, you're a big collector, you want to put up a bunch of props in your room and you're willing to shell out that extra money, that could be something for you. But let's go ahead and talk about these three versions here because this is what most players will be getting. So we're going to go ahead and start with the standard edition, which is $6.99. And unfortunately, games have rose in price. They're now at that $70 mark. It used to be $60, uh, but it seems like they're just going up, I guess, with uh, inflation and whatnot. So uh, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get early access to the game on that March 17th, which is tomorrow. So you can go ahead and join us and be part of that if you want to play with everybody here at the Sephir channel. You're also going to get a special mount as well as some different cosmetics and rings for other games. But the big key thing here is that you're gonna get the early access, right? That's the huge takeaway from this. Everything else is like, okay, you get a side bonus in another game that you may or may not play, right? So if that's for you, you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, the key difference between the standard edition and the deluxe version is going to be this right here. You're going to get four days of early access for Diablo 4. So you're going to be able to play four days earlier when the game actually comes out. And I think this is really important if you are a player who is aiming to be a little bit competitive. Uh, you're going to be playing this game a lot. I think this is very important and I would strongly recommend this $8.99 version for anybody who is a fan of the franchise. You know that you love ARPGs and this is something you're going to dive into. I think the standard edition is something that's more for people who are like, hey, you know, I want to try it out, uh, but I don't particularly care. I have a bit of time here and there, but I'm not in any big of a rush. Uh, so that would be the key difference between the two. Uh, in addition to that, you're also going to get access to the premium season battle pass which will matter if you've ever played any of the other Diablo games like Diablo Immortal had a battle pass it was actually pretty good inside of the game although the game itself not so much but uh, you will be able to get that battle pass um, if it works anything like Diablo Immortal it's going to cap out at a certain amount of levels which is going to be important because we'll talk about that a little bit later you're also going to get additional mount and some sort of mount armor so it's just a slight cosmetic bonus so what you're really paying for here is four days of early access for Diablo 4 and in addition to that you're going to get the battle pass which is going to be adding a little bit extra value there so for 20 bucks that's essentially what you're getting 
And then we have the ultimate edition, which is going to be for the sweaty players or people who just have money and don't care. Uh, the only difference between that and the digital deluxe version is going to be that you're going to get the accelerated battle pass, which is just going to skip you 20 tiers of head. Now, if this works like the other games, you're probably going to hit a cap at some point uh, during the Battle Pass season. So I don't think it's going to be impossible for you to reach the max level of the Battle Pass. So this 20 tier skip might just maybe allow you to like skip a week or two if that's what you really want to do. Uh, it could end up having like the bonus tiers at the end of the battle task where you can earn a small bonus of extra stuff that's just repetitive and scales to infinity. We're not exactly sure how that works, but this is essentially what you're getting. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to get the Wings of Creator emote. So if you're a really big fan of emotes and you want to get that and that's worth the extra $10 for you, then feel free and go ahead and do so. So that's going to be the breakdown between the three so in summary it's going to be standard edition if you just want to check out the game you're a casual player and you're not going super hardcore the digital deluxe version if you are a hardcore gamer you're really competitive and the ultimate version if you have some extra cash to throw around and you're super super sweaty that's really what it's kind of boiled down to at the end of the day with all of this information in mind, Diablo 4 is sure to be a super fun game, and I encourage you to come check it out with me. If you're going to play Diablo 4, comment down below. I am happy to play with anybody during this open beta, so come join me on our adventures as we travel through hell and collect all kinds of great loot. Hopefully it will be an interesting encounter, especially for some of these world bosses that I want to tackle and take out. We know that there will be a world boss in the open beta, so I want to get a group of people together and go smack that thing down and collect some awesome loot. It's going to be a great chance to check out all the classes and figure out which play style works best for you. So if you are unsure what you want to play right now, this is definitely going to help. So thanks for once again for watching the video. I truly appreciate that, and we will see you in the next one.